John, thanks. Well, in the chaos of the recent budget season, Pennsylvania passed a law to allow and regulate carbon capture technology. A controversial policy. Both Democrats and Republicans voted for and against the law. Pennsylvania Capitol correspondent Kara Jeffers has our story. Carbon capture technology is the attempt to capture carbon during energy production, like with coal or other fossil fuels. Uh, there's this idea that you can take the carbon dioxide, you can put it underground and keep it there. And by doing that, you can start reducing emissions and start canceling out emissions. The technology is in the research stage and has links to hydrogen hub development. According to Senator Yaw, the federal DEP awarded over a billion dollars to programs in other states this year. When I see that you know, Texas and California and Montana are getting all these grants to study things, well, I, we can study them too, and you know, we, we Pennsylvania can benefit from those funds just like everybody else. SB 831, sponsored by YAW and signed into law in July, established policy and regulations for carbon capture efforts. I think that we now have the structure where we can say, we can go to the feds with applications and say, uh, we're set up to study this. Some environmental groups oppose the law and plan to appeal in court. Better Path Coalition said no prior research projects have succeeded in high capture rates and there is little known about what happens after carbon is put back underground. Nothing has worked to date. Lots of people consider it unproven, but there are those who call it disproven. Supporters like Senator Yaw maintain it's better to be proactive and success could lead to economic and energy growth for the Commonwealth. In Harrisburg, I'm Kara Jeffers, Erie News Now. Now, there's also concern about property rights. Companies would have to buy subterrain space from property owners to store the carbon in.